Laurel Halo is an American electronic musician based in LA. Uh, she's done some albums that her, are her own albums. She's done a decent amount of collaborations. Uh, she's done some film scores. Um, she's had uh, four studio albums under her own name so far. Uh, the first of these was in 2012. Hi, my name's Dan. So this was Laurel Halo's first album. And it's my first encounter with her, uh, not just with this album, but with her as a musician. Um, so for me, the context, uh, I realize that people are dipping in to these uh, videos, but some people will be watching them uh, sequentially as I go through. Um, so for some of you, this will mean something because the video that I've, I'm just recording these back to back at the moment this evening. Uh, I've just done one for a band called Cabaret Voltaire, uh, which were experimental music. This is also experimental music, but I liked this considerably more than I liked the Cabaret Voltaire. Um, so let's try and do some description. It's definitely, I would describe it as experimental. Uh, it's, there's a lot of playing with sounds here um, and it's quite unusual uh, in terms of uh, particularly the production, but some of the um, some of the harmonies used and the sounds used, it's not always uh, what you'd call musical sounds. Some of it is kind of ambient background stuff. Uh, there's some mellow pad sounds. There's some arpeggiated sounds. Uh, there's a lot of keyboards. So when you look at the list of what instruments have been played, I'm sure they're pretty much all keyboards there's some drum machine stuff going on as well and it has a tendency to be at times stuttery and to have little snatches and it, kind of micro bursts of stuff coming in and then also soundscapes that i mean some of them were just unusual in that i couldn't you know quite put a finger on what it is it's just this kind of background sound of stuff um, there's some vocals in here. There's actually a reasonable amount of vocals uh, on the album, um, and they tend to be heavily harmonised. Um, apparently, she hasn't used auto tune, but uh, it's, uh, I like the vocals. I thought they were they were nicely done. Um, the thing that I least like least liked in the whole album was uh, on a track called Thor. That um, there was a 50 hertz buzz. It just sounded like somebody had unplugged the guitar and was touching the end of the cable, and it's it's something I find generally irritating, that particular noise. Um, but in general, I liked it. I found it very interesting. It's definitely outside of the norm in terms of musicality and production. Um, and I would say that the reason why I liked this album of experimental stuff compared with the Cabaret Voltaire and... Um, don't worry if it's, you know, if you haven't seen that review or if it's out of context for you, sorry about that. But it's uh, the reason why I liked it is that most of the sounds are pleasant. And within that, then, it's very interesting and it's quite unusual. There's even some, you know, there are bits that are, are musical. There are bits that are what I'm kind of learning may be called microtuning, which is where things are slightly out of tune. Um, and often the tuning thing puts me off. In this case, there were bits I didn't like, but there were other bits that I kind of accepted, and it was okay. I think I would say it's still definitely quite challenging as a listen, uh, especially if you don't like music that's on the more, on the more weird side. If you do like sort of experimental music, then this is. I feel like it's different to a lot of other things that I've heard. So you might really enjoy this. I think for some people, they will absolutely love this album. I didn't absolutely love it, but I quite enjoyed it. That's what I think. I'd love to know what you think. Please talk to me through the comments box. That's it from me for now. Yeah.